everybody, it's Holly, and thank you for joining me today on my channel, Smile by Holly. So look at this cute little treat box that we're going to be making today. Now, I don't know if you saw last week's, but I made a really fun milk carton treat holder. And so as I was putting it together, I was thinking, hmm, I bet this would look cute in more of a mini size. And so, I searched around and I did find a little tiny mini size milk carton, a uh, little gift box, and that's what we're going to be making today. So what is fun is this is the perfect size for like little mini Hershey Kisses or those fun little colored chocolate Easter eggs. Just such a cute little tiny dainty size gift box. So, and I have just closed it up with a cute little mini clothespin and I just think these turned out so cute. This is also just a cute little size if you wanted to fill it uh, with a lip balm. And that's what I've got in my yellow one is just, let me see if I can get it out, a Burt's Bees lip balm. So it just fits in there just so perfect and just so fun. So just let your imagination run wild Figure out what you would want to put in your cute little boxes. So let's just jump right in and get started and make these cute little gift boxes. So what you'll want to do is you'll want to start out with a paper, and I'm going to be making two of them today, but with a paper that is six by four and a half, okay? And then bring in your scoreboard. And on the six inch side, so the long side, you want to score it at one. And that's on the six inch side. Then go ahead and turn it to the shorter side, which is four and a half. And you want to score it at a half, at one and a half, at two and a half, and at three and a half. Okay, I'm gonna do it to my second paper so we can make two boxes. On the six inch side, you want to score it at one, and then turn it to the four and a half inch side, and you want to score it at half an inch, at one and a half, at two and a half, and at three and a half. Okay, we're done. Now, I think you can probably see it a little bit better if I show you the score lines here. They're still a little bit hard to see, but what we're going to do is we are going to take out this little teeny tiny rectangle. Okay, you have four squares here, one, two, three, four, but then you have a little teeny tiny rectangle and we are going to cut that one out. And I'm gonna do it on both of my papers really fast. So just cut out that rectangle. And so if you did see my video last week on how to make a milk carton gift box, the way that you make these is very similar. Um, it's just that the size I made this just that much smaller, okay? I'm just gonna cut that out, boom, boom. Okay, so that's what we have. We've got our papers with that little teeny tiny uh, uh, rectangle cut out. Now we're going to cut up on all three of our slits. So one, two, and three, and you just want to cut up to that little tiny score line. Do you see that? I'm going to go ahead and fold and burnish it. And then we're going to miter. We're just going to take a little teeny tiny bit off of our tabs here. Miter, 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 and miter. Okay, so that's what we have going on there. Okay, I'm gonna hurry and do it to this one, and then I'll show you how simple it is to put together this teeny tiny little gift box. Okay, just cutting up to that score line there, then taking a little bit off the edges here, 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 and here. Okay, so there we go. Now I'm gonna go ahead and fold and burnish this. Okay. 
There we go. You can see how it's going to just fold into the cutest little teeny tiny box, right? Okay, let me do it on this one. Fold and burnish. And boom. Okay, now on this little teeny tiny tab here, right here, that's where we're going to put our adhesive. So I'm gonna... So we've got adhesive on that little teeny tiny tab. Now I'm just going to fold my little box in half. And if you have done your measurements right, that lines up just perfectly to that edge. And there is our cute little box, okay? Let's go ahead and do that to this one really fast. Just putting glue onto this tab and then folding it in half. And boom, okay? Now this is where we're going to add glue to our tabs. You just want to add glue to three of them. One, two, and three. And then these are gonna fold in on each other. So that folds in, folds in, folds in, and then that folds over the top. There you go. Was that so simple? Okay, once again, I'm gonna put glue on three of my tabs. One, two, and three. And then they just fold in on each other. Fold in, fold in, fold in, and this last one folds over. And there are our two cute little boxes. And what I thought was fun, like I said, I use clothespins to close these up. And I just got these at the Dollar Tree. What you wanna do is you kind of wanna just pinch these sides in together, okay? And I like to run my finger down the side just to kind of, I call it training your paper. It gets the paper to kind of want to bend a little bit easier, okay? So that folds in, that little guy goes on top. Let's do it on this one. Let's kind of fold that in. Once again, run your fingers down the edges like so. And then that folds over the top. And I just went for super simple. I found some pre-made bows at Hobby Lobby. And you know, I love to add bows, but these were really cute iridescent bows and they were on clearance, <laughs> so even better. They already have a little sticky on them. So I'm just pushing that on to the top of my clothespin. And then once again, it's just lip balm, Hershey Kisses, uh, East chocolate Easter eggs, so many different things that you could put in there. I even think you could put a, a small little perfume in there and that would be cute. So what do you think? So fun, so fast, so easy. Look at those colors. Oh my gosh, they, they scream spring or Easter. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you got some value out of this little project. You know, if you did, give me a big thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already. So have fun crafting. Thank you again for joining me and I'll see you guys on the next video. Goodbye.